Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a full face of Flower Beauty. This has been one of the most requested brands from the drugstore from you guys over the last few years. And I will say Flower Beauty is a little bit tricky to get in Canada. Well.ca does have a limited offering of the collection. I was not able to get all of the things, but I was able to get a lot of the things. So if there are any other places that you know of that I do not that do ship Flower Beauty to Canada, please feel free to let me know. But as far as I'm aware, well.ca was the place to go. And I, yeah, got a ton of Flower Beauty products to try. Again, this has been very requested from you guys and I'm excited to dive in and play with some of these products. So if you'd like to see me turn this mop into a Flower Beauty butterfly, then please do keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so starting with the base, I've just prepped my skin with the Wellita Skin Food, which I did pick up a travel size version in the well.ca order, and I'm excited because we are prepping to move, and I'm going to be without my makeup collection for some time, so I bought a little travel size, which was really cute. Now, okay, Flower Beauty. Guys, Drew Barrymore's makeup brand. It is not a new brand. It has been around for a very long time, but as I mentioned before, not much availability for us Canadian pals and gals, so I've tried a few random products in the past, but I've never done a full deep dive into the brand as a whole. There's a lot of products. They've recently expanded their shade range in some of their skin products, which was great to see. And there were a few things that I was kind of upset that I couldn't get my hands on. It looks like they have some really beautiful eye tints. They had some highlighters and some bronzers, which I don't know, <laughs> I had a little bit of a well.ca kerfuffle. Um, my first order was canceled, and by the time I went to make my second order, a few of the products were out of stock, so I wasn't actually able to get a bronzer and a highlighter, which they are now back in stock online. But guys, like I said, I am in the middle of a move, so I do apologize. I didn't have time to make a third <laughs> order, so a few products were missed, but yeah, well.ca doesn't also have the entire range of Flower Beauty as a lot of these third-party department stores, online stores and whatnot, they don't often have the full range. I'm gonna play with what we have. I picked up three primers, <laughs> three primers from Flower Beauty, okay? I'm actually gonna do my best to use all of them. I think I'll be able to use all of them, which is exciting. We have a pore primer, we've got an illuminating primer, and then to start, we're gonna use this primer, Supernova Celestial Priming Whip. This guy right here, we've got a little aerosol can. Very fun packaging, nice packaging. I am always a little bit skeptical about these extremely flammable cans. It's not necessarily something I think of putting on my face with that, but apparently it's packed with a blend of antioxidants to soothe and rejuvenate the skin. This weightless primer leaves a soft radiance to diffuse the look of fine lines and pores. So sounds nice. I did spray it into my hand before and it left me with a very, very golden glow. I was also swatching some of the lips, true lip stains coming up. It looks great. Let's give it a go. I'm gonna spray this foam onto my face and I'm also gonna take it down my neck. I took all my jewelry off to do a full, a full chesticle moment. Let's give it a go. Wow. It's apparently supposed to have a lavender scent, but you can even see the golden shimmers in there. Yeah, it leaves quite a golden glow on my hands. Let's put it on. I don't smell lavender. It kind of just smells like soap, if I'm honest. I'm just gonna take this all the way down. It feels nice. <laughs> it honestly feels good. Quite a glow. So maybe we won't need the illuminating primer after all. It does feel good. I'm gonna grab a little bit more. Ooh. I'm gonna take this down my neck too. Make sure that everywhere is filled with antioxidants and glowing goodness. It looks like it's given the skin a beautiful base. Honestly, I am quite shiny now all over, but like in a nice way, in a nice way. So lately when I've been trying new makeup products, I've often been saying, oh, there's no chunky glitters. It's just like a true lid from within glow. This one is not the case. There are chunky glitters. I've got chunky glitters like congealing into some dry areas. So as far as it helping with fine lines and pores, absolutely not. This is like highlighting it. I've just put like a beacon of highlight onto all, like it's literally sinking into my pores and emphasizing them. Absolutely no. <laughs> 
to fine lines and pores. No, no, there are chunky bits of glitter in here. So overall, because of this, it does have a nice shine and glitter to it. I just find the aerosol can a little bit useless because if this were like an illuminating primer or even a highlighter, this could be so pretty and you could just put it onto the high points of my face. But just because it says it helps to smooth out fine lines and pores, like absolutely not. It has completely emphasized it. So for that, this is a no-go for me. It was fun. It was fun to use, fun to apply. But now we definitely need the In Your Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. This is hopefully going to save us in this moment. Ooh, very green. Fun. It's that creamy feeling, just like the e.l.f. Pore Putty Primer. I like it. Let's hopefully minimize some of the pores we've just maximized with that other primer. <laughs> smoothed out a little bit. It's definitely not as smooth as some other primers look. Yeah, some of the pore primers, when I put them on, it's like an instant woo, smoothness. This is like, it helped. It helped with the gold shimmer bits for sure, but I don't notice anything magical with it. Hmm, okay, no goes on the primer so far. Let's just give the illuminating primer a little swatch here. I like this packaging, very cute. Love the little flower beauty plaque there. Cute. I wonder what the difference in finish is between this and the aerosol one. Like this one looks like it's truly glow giving and not chunks of sparkle like the other one. Maybe I'll just put that on top. Is that too much? Like that's a proper true glow there, you know? Like wetness on the skin with no chunky glitters in sight. That's nice. Out of the three, I think that's the best one. Just smooth glow. Yeah. So the illuminating primer out of the three, that would be the one I would go for next time. And then with some other kind of poor one. Okay, let's move on to the bases here. So I've actually got two. I've got the Heat Wave Bronzing Essence and then also the Get Real Serum Foundation. So these are the two products I'm gonna use on the base today. The serum foundation says it has medium buildable coverage with a natural radiant finish. Conceals and smooth skin with a natural looking finish, infused with antioxidants and hydrating properties to help nourish and care for your skin as you wear it. Sounds delightful. Now this Heat Wave Bronzing Essence, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's kind of like, it's not liquid. It's almost like a, like a goopy, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know if it's like gone bad or what, but it's not like liquid in there. Anyway, very interesting, but it has a buildable glow for all skin tones. So you can blend a few drops in your foundation or wear alone for a soft sun-kissed radiance. So because I didn't actually get a bronzer from Flower Beauty, I might just like apply this beforehand and kind of try and warm up the skin. We can apply it after as well and see how it goes, but I might just, yeah, use this before and blend it into the skin to just add an overall warm look in the areas where I'd normally apply bronzer so I'm just gonna take that onto the forehead blend that in kind of like treating it like a warm tint Ooh. <laughs> oh god maybe not do you see how patchy that is ah it like set instantly oh god oh no 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 JK JK I take it back this is this is not working out for me so well guys that set immediately look at how dry that got right away Guys, it's literally like dry, 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 dry. Like I've just rubbed like a mat. I don't even know how to describe it. It literally feels powdery now. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna take some Fix Plus. I'm gonna give some wetness here and we're just gonna, when in doubt, sponge it out, okay? That's the saying we're gonna go with today. When in doubt, sponge it out. Oh my God, no, no, no. Listen, not doing so hot with the base so far. I think I would just reserve totally just mixing that in with your moisturizer or foundation on its own. That did not blend out. Like I hope you guys saw what I was talking about where it just like got stuck. But as far as like now that I've managed to blend it out a little bit, it did add a beautiful warm glow, but it was just a little bit tricky. This definitely needs a mixing agent. This needs something moisturizing or hydrating to mix with it because by itself, mm -mm, that didn't blend out well. So let's move on to the <laughs> serum foundation. For serum foundations, generally speaking, I'm able to blend that out nicely with my fingers. Like, yeah, that is, it is gorgeous and dewy. I got the shade Natural Beige. My neck is, she's still quite white. So I'm just gonna 
take that down. That's why I prepared myself by not wearing jewelry. I knew I was gonna have to take this down. My chest actually does have quite a tan and leftover burn to it. So it actually goes on really nicely, but the neck is always real white. This looks beautiful. This is very true in terms of it being a beautiful serum -y foundation. It's so glowy, so dewy. I'm getting quite a light coverage. I don't know if I'd call this medium coverage right out of the gate, to be honest, but I, I'm liking what I'm seeing. The lightness is beautiful and you get a nice play time with it. It blended out very nicely with the fingers and the finish is gorgeous. The natural finish. Like I hope you guys just witnessed the before and after there. I like what I see so far. This lovely little serum foundation. Axing this forever. Let's go in with the concealer. This is the Light Illusion Concealer. I got a lighter one and a deeper one. Lovely little packaging here. This is meant to be a full coverage concealer. So I'm gonna take the shade Light 3-4 and attempt to do a little bit of brightening with this. I don't want to apply too much, but we'll try to do a little bit of brightening here and then we can go in and just conceal some of our extra spots with the deeper one. This is M12 Light Medium. I'm just gonna take some here. I've got really like the redness is bumping right now. So I just wanna add some extra coverage there. Let's do a little whoop, whoop, spritz. Again, that's another thing that I wasn't able to grab was their setting spray. They did have a lovely little, a lovely looking setting spray, but let's just make do with the concealer. I blended out beautifully. I'm not getting full coverage vibes, I'll be honest. It's more of like medium, medium coverage feelings, which I don't mind. We can always build up more and see how buildable it is. As far as the pore primer goes, I feel like it's doing nothing under the eyes. Like I'm getting full, like my texture was very, very highlighted with the whole primer experience. So no, again, firm no to the pore minimizing primer. I feel like this, <laughs> I take it back, that concealer is a lot deeper <laughs> than the rest of the skin that we've got going on. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go around and just add a little extra layer of the light, try and get some more coverage in here. And then I'm just gonna try and brighten up that other concealer a little bit and blend it all out. I kind of am getting the feelings like when I did the TikTok hacks and put the deep <laughs> contour around my lips, that's, that's the, the feeling I've got going on right now. So I'm just gonna try and add another layer under the eyes here. Oh, you know what guys, honestly, it's just not the best. It's not. I think we've tried some really great concealers from the drugstore before, and it could just be that I have very dry skin, but you know, yeah, it's just like a little bit, it's a little bit powdery feeling. Like I can just see the product on my skin in a big way. Like sometimes you blend out a concealer and it's just creamy, very natural looking, and it just blends into the skin. Like you can't see it. This. I feel like I can see the powdery pigments in it, if that makes sense. It takes a little bit longer to blend out. And yeah, I can just see it. I don't know. It's not the best. Definitely not the best one I've seen. It's not the worst for sure, but yeah, just not my, not my favorite look. It can always blend in and get a little bit more skin looking as time goes on for sure. But overall, I'm like this about it. Okay, while we've got all our creamy bases on, I wanted to use this Gel Crush Lip and Cheek Blush. This guy right here, this is in the shade Raspberry Crush. Looks beautiful, love the little twist up stick. It smells delicious, like fruity heaven. Oh, you can use it on the lips and cheeks, I didn't realize, how delightful. I also bought this blush balm, this blush balm right here, which is actually very deep and very pigmented. I kind of want a little bit more of a light, summery, fresh feeling today, so I'm gonna use this. I also picked up one of the powder blushes. This is the Flower Pots Powder Blush in the shade Warm Hibiscus, which seems to have a lovely golden glow to it, so I feel like once we set with powder later, we'll start with this and maybe we do a little top of that powder blush, but I just wanna see this lovely, yeah, it's like, Truly a raspberry, a fresh little raspberry flush. Okay, so this is one that's like quite, quite pigmented. I don't know if you were able to see that, but it's a little bit tough to blend out with the fingers. Sometimes when you use a true like cheek tint, you can just really easily tap it in. This one's like, yeah, yeah, that's got some pigment there. So I'm just gonna do an initial little blend with my finger and then yeah, go over with the sponge to help. But this color is beautiful.
So let's put a little bit across the nose too. And let's just put some on the lips as well. I don't know if it shows up in the camera, but it does have some chunky gold glitters in it. And you can like feel them. You can feel the the grittiness in it. Kind of the same feeling as in the primer. You just, like it's visible, you see it, but beautiful wet glow on the cheeks. That's lovely. I might go in with contour later, but I want to keep this true a little bit to the Flower Beauty lineup. So let's leave the base for now and let's move on to the eyes. I picked up a few of the eye products. I did mention before there did seem to be some eye tints that looked beautiful that I wasn't able to get my hands on, but I did pick up one of the eyeshadow palettes. This is the Petal Play eyeshadow palette in Gilded Lily. Lovely little very natural palette for every day. And then I also picked up a few different liners. I have the Forever Wear Dark and Stormy Winged Liner. I have the Forever Wear Brownstone Eyeliner. And then I also picked up some of these scribble sticks, which are meant for eyes and lips. So a few different ones we can play with today. I think I'm gonna start with, yeah, I'm gonna start with the Brownstone Liner. It looks creamy. And beautiful. So actually what I'm gonna do is take the Miracle Matte Universal Finishing Powder. I'm just gonna set the eyes first. I'm gonna take a little bit of that onto an eyeshadow brush, kind of like Katie Jane Hughes does with the L'Oreal powder. We're gonna do with this setting powder. So now I'm gonna take this and we're gonna do a little smudging action along the lash line. Yeah, it's super dark super dark and it's creamy and beautiful this is blending out so nicely like so easily so nicely so creamy beautiful it's gonna kind of clean up i'm not applying any new product i'm kind of just like fluffing that around i blended out so nicely great so I've just gone ahead and taken some of that on the lower lash line. I'm just doing it on the outer bit because this is very creamy. A little bit is going a very long way. It's creamy and it's blending out so nicely, but it's not really setting. Like you do get a lot of play time with this for sure, but we're gonna have to go in and set it with some shadow. So that's liner, really creamy, really nice. So yeah, we definitely need some powder in there. So I'm gonna dip into this brown in the palette. Ooh, super pigmented. Same kind of, like it looks nice and warm in the palette, but yeah, very cool, cool, cool brown. So let's take that. Ooh, and I'm just pressing that over top of the liner. I kind of just wanna drag it into the crease a little bit. Yeah, wow, really dark. I wasn't expecting to do such a such a deep little smoky eye here. Ooh, I was like warm summer vibes, wow. Just kidding. So I'm pretty much just lining over that. I, I got a little bit of skipping here. Does that happen to anyone else? I feel like I get skipping a lot, but you can just take a clean brush and kind of blend it away. I'm gonna take a big fluffy blending brush and just go in with this kind of lighter, very light peach. I'm just gonna run that over the edges. It's not gonna do a whole lot because this is pretty much my skin tone, honestly, but we can just use it to soften up the edges a bit. All right, let's go over with this shimmer. This lovely shimmer shadow. Just go right onto the area of the lid that we left blank. Just whoop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, now for the liquid liner. I feel like I've used this before. Wow, it's dark. Hi. Looks good. All right, let's try and do a little wing. I'm gonna go silent through this because I struggle deeply with liner, but I basically just wanna try and define the lashes a little bit and just do a little, a little flicky flick with this brown liner. May the force be with me. Okay, the liner was great. That was very easy to apply. Have I used this before? I'm having a little bit of a, a little brain fart moment. I can't remember if I've used this in a video before, but that was lovely. We've got a lovely little wing. 
lovely little wing going. So now for mascara. This is the Warrior Princess. The Warrior Princess mascara. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looked like it was exceptionally plumping. Another little hourglass wand there. No horrifying smell. Good sign to start with. Let's see how she goes. You know what? It's giving me totally the same feelings as the Revlon mascara that I've been loving lately. Just this very generally lifted and fluttery lash. Absolutely beautiful. I do prefer wands that have a little bit of a thin tapered edge just so I can get right in there into the lashes, but this looks lovely. Lovely. I'm gonna do a little sneaky and take the Annabelle Skinny Mascara and put that on my lower lashes because currently there's just nothing else doing it for me down there. That was suggestive. You know what I mean. Get your head out of the gutter. What a lovely little smoky eye. Lovely little smoky eye. Mascara looks great. Looks great. It kind of looks like I have false individual lashes on, honestly. Very light, very fluttery. Very much like the Revlon one. Also very similar vibes feelings to the Charlotte Tilbury full fat lashes. That's kind of the look, just a light and fluttery mascara. Love that. I'm gonna use a little bit more powder. I'm gonna dip into the Miracle Matte Powder. Sorry, I don't know what, what happened on this packaging, but it did come like that. But I'm gonna take a little eyeshadow brush and just use this to just set in where we need it. Honestly, we're not too, too shiny, but I definitely want something under the eyes here, especially when we're putting mascara onto our lower lashes. We want to try and get as little raccooning as possible. And just because we didn't get a lot of porelessness from the primer, I'm hoping we can get that from the powder, which is working great. It's really smoothing out the area. I have a lot of separation from the concealer. Like it was just not cute. Like you can see the product built up and it just looks tragic. It does, it really does look tragic under the eyes. I got a lot of texture build up. Not cute guys. The powder is helping for sure, but not, not a good look. Not a good look from the concealer at all. I'm gonna be honest. So far the eyes and the cheeks, that lovely little blush are my favorite part, but the base, not looking cute, not looking cute. Guys, I am just gonna go in with a little layer of my Benefit Hoola bronzer, okay? Just to warm up the skin a little bit over here. I'm feeling a little bit naked on my cheeks without a bronzer, so I just want a lovely little dusting of this just to help warm up the complexion ever so slightly. And then I'm also just gonna take this over the eyes a little bit. It's not gonna really do anything too noticeable, but I think it'll just help to blend it in a little bit and add just a touch of warmth just because that brown was so cool i just want a little bit of something something to warm it up in there just a touch just a touch so then for the lips we've got a ton of different options we have the scribble sticks which maybe i'll just use actually really quickly to line since i don't have a lip liner this is the scribble stick in number 10 bittersweet let me just use this like a liner even though it's a little bit wider <laughs> i'm just gonna like press that in to my lips, just to give a little bit of definition. Nice and creamy. Again, it's a little bit more on like the cool toned mauve side. From the packaging, it looks like it might be like a true brown, but a little bit more on that mauve, mauve tone. Now, the lip swatches that I had been swatching on the palm of my hand were the Bitten Lip Stains. This one's in the shade Sweet, right here. Gorgeous, looks like such a gorgeous lip stain. Let me see if I can show you guys here. Like that looks so beautiful, so beautiful. So I definitely wanna play with that. But then there were also, and then sorry, when I wipe it off, it's like a real stain. True, true lip stain. <laughs> but the formula of that feels beautiful. It feels very much like the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestros, just gorgeous. But then there were also these powder play lip colors, which is very interesting. In the packaging, it's literally powder. Can you guys see the powder? It's powder to cream. I have two shades. I have cheeky and flirt. Let me just show you guys. Like when you pull it out, powder definitely flies a little bit. But then it just turns into this like crazy pigmented color. <sighs> but you do get a lot of fallout. Like that just fell on my shorts. That's gonna stain for sure. And then the shade flirt, nice light 
peachy nude. Yeah, really interesting. I, I don't like that it has such an intense fallout aspect, but like that color, cheeky, that looks crazy. I feel like we just need to give it a try. I don't really know how you'd prevent, like the powder just falls everywhere. I'm curious to see how it feels. It's such a unique feeling. I don't even know how to describe it. You can almost feel it on your lips, like changing in a way. Very interesting concept. Looks great. Kind of just looks like, like a true stain on the lips. I kind of feel it. Like I, mm, oh, I can taste it too. <laughs> it definitely just feels like there's something on my lips, but it's super light. It does feel like a powdery stain. How very odd, but I love this color. Again, this is cheeky, number three. Very cool. I kind of like how this looks actually. I feel like all the colors are really blending in with one another. And honestly, from the primers and whatnot, we have such a glow on the cheeks. I'm actually, I'm quite, I'm very happy with this. Other than the fact that my skin looks very intense and very, like, oh can you see, can you see how cracky it is? Like it's just sunken into all of my fine lines here. But other than that, eyes, lips, a little blush, very cute. All together, very lovely look. It's a lot more dramatic than I was expecting to go today, but I'm happy with it. I'm happy how it turned out. All right, so my face is looking a little bit, a little bit yellow next to my body, but that's okay. Guys, this is the finished look. I'd love to hear your thoughts, what you think. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Very intrigued by this lip, and there were a lot of the eye products that I thought were just Fabulous and honestly the eyeliner was so creamy blended out so well the liquid eyeliner lovely The mascara looked fabulous and I'm excited definitely gonna play with this lip stain at a later date But overall would love to hear your guys's thoughts on the look and if you have any favorite products from flower beauty Please do let me know in the comments down below. I'm very intrigued to Try more and that's it for this makeup look guys. I really hope you enjoyed it Thank you so much for being here and for watching and I will see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!